Hello everybody, Bruno here. I'm going to show you guys how to set up a communication channel for your bot application using Cortana voice recognition. So, to start, what you want to do is create a new project under the template Universal Windows Platform, right? After that, you need to add a new file to it, an XML file, okay? call it voice comments or whatever you want now over here you can copy and paste the XML structure that you're seeing on the article on this video is posted on okay this one uh, here for this example we're gonna change some things to make it more, you know, real life application, okay? So, common prefix, what is common prefix? This is the text, the phrase, the word that you that you need to, to speak before your comment, right? So, every time you want to Cortana to trigger uh, a functionality of your app, your application, uh, under the uh, voice recognition, what you need to do is to to invoke your application using a common prefix. Okay, so I'm gonna change this from integration test to I don't know. Uh, for example, we want the application to art pizza, right? So we're gonna change this to um, pizza, pizza. Okay. Uh, okay, and the next step is define your listing for tags. Okay, what is this? Well, uh, listing for tags are phrases that Cortana can understand and trigger certain comments for your application, right? Which comment is this? On our case, yet it is show my tasks, which we are going to change right now. Um, well, we want to order pizza, right? So I'm going to change this to order pizza. And to, on, on this example tag, it's just an example for who's reading, understand how the comment works. So this is not integration test anymore. I'm going to change it for pizza. And well, this is going to change as well. I'm going to call it, uh, I don't know, I want to order a pizza, right? And copy it over here and put, put it over here. So again, how it would work. Cortana will start to listen. You're going to say, pizza, I want to order a pizza, right? If she understands this, she would trigger order pizza inside our application, right? So this feedback feedback is, uh, if Cortana understand it, she will say, okay, right? Uh, so we're going to change this for... I don't know, ordering, right? She will say, okay, automatically, all right, automatically, it's like default. Just after, uh, she's gonna say ordering, okay? And this navigate tag means that we're gonna use a default uh, entry point for our uh, app, right? You can change this, there's another way to do this, be aware, uh, but we, we are not going to cover it over here. Uh, you could like define voice command service, right? And define the name it for the file. But over here, uh, you can define a file, a class under your project to be the entry point. But for this simple example, I will keep it as the navigate over here. So uh, the next step is to is to install this XML file on your Cortana, right? Uh, to do so, we, what we need to do is create a method to it for, for doing so, right? So we're gonna make it here under app xaml.cs, okay? You can do whatever, wherever you want, right? Um, I suggest doing um, uh, a part of your code that's gonna be executed every time your uh, application runs. Okay, so what you're going to do here 
is copy our code from the article. In this case, style voice comments. Right? So here you can implement, declare it as async. And uh, implementation here you can change for um, here just copy and paste. Okay. I'm going to just put some using statements here th that are missing. Just con control dot, right? Using. Okay, so we are good to go uh, for the installation. Okay, so every time our app got it's running, uh, install voice comments will be triggered and running, and install our voice comments XML, which we just declared over here into Cortana, right? As the method definition says. Okay, so after that, well. Uh, we want to make an entry point for our application, right? You want to say to Cortana to do something, she needs to run your code. So for that, what you need to do <coughs> is override a method called onActivated, which, you're, which you, you are not going to see over here, but we're going to do it. Again, you can just copy and paste from, from the article. So a, protect, a protected override uh, void on activated, right? I'm gonna copy and paste an if statement. Uh, this if statement is just for um, guarantee that our application is getting activated by a voice command, otherwise just return. Okay, pretty simple. So after after that. Uh, you're probably probably wondering, well, I want to know which comment Cortana understood, right? Because I didn't say that, but we we can have like multiple comments over here, like this, right? Like I don't know, order pizza, uh, call for support, or some things like that. You just you, you can have like multiple comments. It's just copy and paste and define a new listening for, or even more listing fours we can have like three or four five listing fours for the same command which we're going to do here uh, i want to order pizza i want a pizza these, these are different phrases that are going to be uh understand and trigger the same comment okay so uh okay so how do we uh, get the understood comment right so again, you can copy and paste. We're gonna have uh, from the, from our common arguments, we're gonna extract our result, okay, into a speech recognition um, result, right? Uh, and from speech recognition result, we uh, dot really path index zero. We're gonna extract extract our recognize command. Pretty simple, right? And you may ask ask uh, what if I want to know which phrase Cortana understand? I don't know. I, I don't want to know only the comment. I want to know which phrase Cortana understand. To do so, what we want the the property we want here is text, okay? From speak recognition result. Okay, pretty simple. So everything that we want to do here to get this running is just compile, right? So what I'm going to do here is put a breaking point here, over here and run it. So let's check it. Uh, this may take a while or not. It depends on your computer. I hope not for the good of the video. Well, okay, uh, it works well. Um, let's check, right? So what we need to do is invoke, invoke Cortana, say pizza, I want a pizza, right? 
So let's go. Hey, Cortana. I want a pizza. I'd be glad to help you find that place. As soon as you sign in, I can get started. Well, what happened here is I forgot to say pizza. I forgot the comment prefix, right? So Cortana triggered a default uh, function from Windows, right? Uh, this is something that you, you need to take, uh, take care, right? Uh, and, and try to avoid um, listing for uh, tags that would, uh, you know, conflict with already installed applications your computer, right? This this could be a problem, so try to avoid it. So uh, what I'm going to do again here is try again, but now saying the comment prefix pizza, right? Right. So Cortana understand that uh, the comment is for the application that has the comment prefix. Okay. So again, hey Cortana, pizza. I want a pizza. Sure. Ordering. Right. So here, she understand it and trigger a code. Congratulations. Um, you can check over here the values. See, order pizza, which is your command. And you can see here the full text, which is going to be no because I didn't. Pass through the code. Yeah, I want a pizza, right? This is the phrase that she understood. So this is how you uh, set up a voice communication channel for a bot application. So over here, right, uh, right below it, you can make your bot code. Well, here you could uh, call another application for make a an order, uh, ask another question from Cortana, like, oh, which flavor do you want? Uh, it is possible to Cortana to respond asking for more information. It's pretty simple. Uh, I recommend you guys to um, check the documentation, which I linked on the article, and it's pretty much everything. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the article. Uh, so that's it. Thank you.